Welcome back to the podcast, Case Against Ventura County. My name is Emmett Falconer. In this episode, I will be talking about health care agency fiscal issues that have occurred over the past couple of years. I will remind you that I am talking about upper management for the most part, not VCMC department managers. There is one department manager that we all know is a problem. Maybe there are others. For now, keep in mind that upper management starts with administrators and goes up to the county CEO and the Board of Supervisors. The main purpose of my podcast is to provide information to workers and the community, information that I feel they need to be aware of. The fiscal problems, especially those created by management's poor planning, as well as attempting very expensive projects that apparently were far beyond their capabilities. A lot of the millions they lost could have been avoided by talking and listening to well-experienced and knowledgeable workers. But that is something management has a very strong illogical aversion to. Some of the past decisions made were in part for good reasons. Other decisions resulted in financially disastrous failures that have resulted in millions and millions of dollars wasted and lost by upper management. It may be boring to listen to, especially to the taxpayers. While jobs and millions of dollars are needlessly sent out of the county and halfway across the nation never to return. The citizens of Ventura never ask why. Who is responsible? Maybe the taxpayers have learned just to accept the illusion there is nothing they can do to hold the politicians responsible for the financial crisis they pursue and achieve. I don't share that opinion. All of us working together can and should hold these people responsible and demand changes other than their diversionary tactics, which for the most part are attacks on health care workers. The workers are the only ones who know how to do the job and do a very good job, despite the obstacles placed in their way by upper management. This fact is supported by a grand jury investigation. At the same time, there is no sacrifice financially or in hiring by those who created the financial crisis. What the community needs to think about is the fact there is nothing being done to stop upper management from rewarding themselves while continuing to deprive the community of jobs and money that belongs to the community, to our community. We will start with February 2013 when the press reported a $360 million bond issue. This seems to be for good reasons, especially the part avoiding the costly seismic retrofitting of VCMC. The press in the original report said $305 million is for the new wing. What the rest of the money is going towards is noticeably absent of details. In a later report, the press refers to the $215 million wing addition project. That is a $90 million difference, but not worth the press talking about, I guess. Probably was not in the county's PR release to them anyway. It does sound cheaper. So maybe that is why the press conveniently did not mention the $360 million bond issue again. That is what PR is all about. And mainstream media likes to stay within the PR guidelines. Management states the $360 million is to be paid off over 30 years and will reduce the borrowing costs by more than $1 million per year. Paying $360 million back over 30 years is at least $12 million per year for 30 years. Management claims it will reduce borrowing costs by $1 million per year while paying back $12 million per year. Are we supposed to be impressed? There are things said that sound good and are good about this new wing project. At the same time, that is a large debt with large payments for 30 years. This $12 million paid every year might not seem like much, but it is something that will be used against the health care workers at VCMC. Only the workers at VCMC and mental health are going to be affected by this. While their resources and pay are reduced or frozen, the creators of the debt do very well. Those close to upper management are given raises, promoted, or hired without improvement of service to the community. Mainstream media puts on their blinders and are fed what they are to say. Only approved questions are to be asked of those creating the debt. Who must bail them out every time without even a thank you? The health care workers, without a single sacrifice 
by the creators of the debt. That concludes this episode. Episode 2 will continue with talk about the senseless spending and behavior of upper management. I will talk about their need to waste money on performance impaired vendors who are taking jobs from members of our community at a much higher cost than hiring full-time workers. If you feel there's something you would like me to talk about, let me know. Our workers need to be heard. Subscribe if you like, and thanks for listening.